The PXG vs. Bastard Munchen match is unraveling before our eyes. This match desperately needs another important player. Someone who can either clash or help one of the main strikers in Rin, Kaiser, and Isog. Chapter 272 has set the stage for the next goal in this match. We even see Isagi have some monologue at the end of Chapter 272, and he says there's the potential of a fourth player coming in. Someone who can influence the result of this match. Someone who can either help or clash with these players. So it's time to discuss who could be this fourth piece. Now we've given some thought to who this fourth piece could possibly be. And the first player we landed on was Charles. Charles has been deemed as this great passer, but he has been very annoying to watch in this match. His consistent need to pass the ball to Shido is crippling his potential and making him look like a fraud. It's clear that Charles needs to drop Shido and play with Ren instead. Charles not playing with Ren doesn't make any sense to me. We've seen them play together in the past and we've saw Ren cook most of the Bastion Mujin team at the beginning of this match. But ever since that goal with Shido, Charles is refusing to link up with Ren and it just doesn't make sense to me. You've had this great passer and you have this great striker and Rin, and they're just not working together. I agree. It's absolutely insane. Loki doesn't even care about this match. He went out of his way to say he doesn't even care about the results. That is true, but I do want to point out what Loki said about Charles in that segment. Loki mentioned to Noah that Charles will undergo another evolution soon. So maybe that was some foreshadowing saying that Charles is going to be the key for Rin's next goal. Rin's basically destined to score a goal soon. Charles simply passing to Rin and Rin scoring is the most likely opportunity right here. Yeah, that does make the most sense and also signs are definitely pointing to that. Plus, if Charles simply passes a Rin, Rin will just most likely score there. It's safe to say the whole reason Rin hasn't scored yet is because Charles is not playing with him. As soon as Charles plays with Rin, it's game over. Rin will score a banger and PXG will gain the momentum again. If Rin can fully utilize Destroyer State and a Playmaker, I think it's gonna be too much for Bastard Moonshine. We did think Destroyer State Rin was gonna be one of the answers, but it seems like Destroyer State's not as great as it's hyped up to be. Even in this current Destroyer State, Rin still isn't able to do enough to secure the job and score the next goal. Charles coming in will be that last beat and that will push Rin over the edge and help him score a goal. I think that definitely sets up a scenario for that. But moving on, let's talk about the second potential player that we think could have an influence in this match. That player is going to be Ness. I think Ness's character arc needs this moment. After being abandoned by Kaiser, Ness was thrown into his own journey of self-discovery and despair. And we've seen many players go through this despair arc and reach a big moment. I do want to point out, after Kaiser got his evolution, he discards Ness and basically says he's able to figure out his own and one of those choices that he stated was that Ness is going to have to find a new king. And something else to point out, Kaiser said he doesn't need the kind of football that Ness plays, saying he prefers the restriction and discomfort compared to the freedom that Ness brings, which ultimately means Ness's play style falls into the freedom ego environment. And do you know who else falls into that freedom style? Isagi Yoichi. Yes, we believe Ness could assist Isagi's next goal. The reason we point this out is because both players have a grudge against Kaiser. Both of them possess a freedom based style, which means Isagi and Ness could easily clash together and share a winning vision. And let's not forget, Ness is a great playmaker. His whole style relied on assisting Kaiser's amazing goals. And now that Kaiser no longer needs Ness, Ness could then become that playmaker for Isagi. That's right. Isagi is the upcoming king and Ness is now searching for a new king. It seems like these two are supposed to work together. Plus, Isagi heard that whole conversation, so he could be plotting on this already. That's right. We did see Isagi overhear that whole conversation and something snapped in him to realize Ness and Kaiser differences. And to ensure this makes sense to y'all, let's look back in the recent chapter 272. Ness had a great play in helping Kaiser and Isagi stopping Joya Rin. Now you think Kaiser would be impressed by this, but instead he calls Ness a stray dog and further doubles down on the fact that he doesn't care about Ness and even states that he's no longer his master, which is hella sus, but it's clear that Ness is struggling to accept the fact that Kaiser left him. Right, this is definitely a breakup that has been long overdue and we got to witness it. Who else would be a great fit for him right now besides Isagi? He could act as that passer for Isagi's next goal and this could happen solely due to the fact that both players need to make an impact if they wish to achieve their goals. That's correct. Isagi's goal is to become number one while defeating Kaiser and Rin and Ness's current goal is to get a new king. It seems like these two are destined to play together and they might share a winning vision and achieve something incredible. There's definitely a lot of potential for these two to work together and it would be really interesting to see. Moving on, let's talk about our third potential player, Kunigami. Now, kind of a wild card here, but what if Kunigami was the fourth piece that Isagi was talking about. We know Kunigami is going through his revenge arc with Shido, but we feel like locking him down won't be enough to bring back old Kunigami. One of the main reasons we picked Kunigami is because his original ego has been hinted throughout this whole match, and we believe for Kunigami to fully wake up, he needs to score a goal, and not just any goal like he scored in Barcher and Manshine, a goal that would reignite his original ego, a goal that the original hero striker Kunigami always wanted to score. Think back on that moment where he was talking to Isagi back in the first election, talking about his idea 
ideal style. And again, we've seen Kunigami's original ego be mentioned multiple times throughout this match. And Isagi was the first one to realize his original ego was peeking through again. And there's an opportunity for him to fully make a comeback. I agree. And the perfect person to spark that awakening would be his old friend Isagi. Throughout this match, Isagi hinted at that original ego that we were talking about. And maybe this is going to come into play again before the match ends. Another thing I want to point out, back in chapter 270, Isagi said he would become like Itoshi Sai in order to defeat Destroyer Rin. Now, we know Isagi isn't at the same level, so we can infer that Isagi must do whatever he can in order to win against Rin right now. Accepting that as a theory, we can infer that Isagi would even go as far as assisting the next goal if that meant defeating Rin and Kaiser. Because, let's not forget, Isagi's main goal is to become number one player and win the NEL. If he assists in a game winner like he did in Manchine City, he could still be seen as the best player in that match. Because, let's not forget, he has one goal, and if he did assist that last goal, he had one assist. So those would be impressive feats, and it would definitely be the most impressive individual performance compared to all the other players as well. And to add even more to that, we have said so many times before, Kunigami deserves another goal, and that would just be great to see. Maybe in some way, this will satisfy Kunigami's revenge towards Shido, and we get to see that old Kunigami again. I really hope so. I did enjoy the original Kunigami a lot. I did like his character, and emo Kunigami is not the same. He needs to make a comeback, especially since his original ego has been into that so much throughout this match, and I think locking down Shido isn't going to be enough to make him fully come back. I think he needs that big moment of achieving that hero status to fully wake him up. With that being said, these were the three players that stood out to us that could potentially be this fourth piece that Isagi was talking about. Looking at the character arcs of these three characters, it feels like these three are the ones who need that main character moment the most. Obviously, that one panel at the end of 272 showed a lot of players on it, but let's be real. Raichi is an offensive player, so I don't see him getting an assist. Kiora already has his big moment, so I feel like he's pretty much all set. I don't think he's going to have anything as crazy as that big assist at Kaiser. Karasu and Hiri are going to have moments in this match, but I don't think it's not going to be anything too big like a huge assist. Hiri already had his moment in the Ubers match, and he's definitely already done enough in this match. He's won the ball a few times. He's pressed at good moments. He stole the ball from Charles. He launched a counterattack that ended up with Isagi scoring the goal. I think he'll still have useful moments, just like Karasu will keep having useful moments, but we think Charles, Ness, and Kunigami need those main character moments even more than anybody else. And of course, there's also Zantetsu, Tokimitsu, and Nanase, but these three players kind of have settled into the more support role here, and I don't see them having main character moments. Obviously, it would be great to see players like Tokimitsu and Zantetsu be great offensive powerhouses again, but it doesn't seem like the story is heading in that direction. And you did mention Karasu earlier. I believe my man's Karasu deserves a huge moment in this match. I really doubt the story is going to go in that direction, but I could also see him being a potential fourth piece in this whole thing as well. I wouldn't be mad about Karasu getting another big moment. I feel like his character has been kind of getting hoed this game. He had that big moment in the beginning, but besides that, he's really just been stalling and just trying to fend when he can, but Bastion Moon just cooking the whole BXG team, so there's not much he can do. And I will say, Zantetsu did get a cover in the latest volume release, so maybe he'll have some type of key moment in the next chapter, but again, I don't see Zantetsu getting a big assist. Maybe he'll have a big play where he links up with Charles, and then maybe Charles gets the assist, but I don't think Zantetsu is going to have a huge moment like Kiora or Hiri in the Ubers match. There is also a world where Shido can come into the picture for this, but realistically, I don't think Shido is going to get another goal in this match because the story is kind of leaning towards the direction that Bastion Mugen will win, and I don't think they're going to take a goal away from Rin. Right, especially since Shido scored a goal already. Rin needs one way more for his character arc. Maybe Shido will have a cool moment and he'll get a nice shot off at the goal, and then Gagamaro will save it. We haven't seen Gagamaro do much yet in this match, so that could be a way for both of them to still have a relevant moment, but still, I don't see Shido having a huge moment or being that fourth piece. It seems like he already played his role. With all that being said, what do you guys think about the three players we picked that could be the fourth player that will have a huge influence on this match and the result of the next goal? Please let us know what you guys think. Who is going to be that next piece? Who will be that fourth important player? Please let us know in the comment section who you think that player will be. And again, thank you for sticking to the end if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And don't forget, we have a community Discord with the link description if you guys want to join. And as always, it's Lotus. It's Tev. Peace. Catch you in the next one.